in the humble hills of the avium savannah. You ain't a man until you settled up your first capybara. Howdy there, partner. My name's Woody Wild, and this is the Wild West. I've lived at the Locust Oasis my whole life, but now that our borders have opened, it's time for me to leave home and see the big white world. For the first time, Balamorians with a passport can enter Mistelin's borders, as well as a place called Port Serim that can take me over to Greater Corum by ship. Plus, I've heard of a land called the Wilds that nobody rules over, and that sounds just like home to me. I wonder if they have capybaras there too? I'm sure no harm will come in finding out. At the end of the last episode, we completed our Valamor task list and unlocked our next region. While I'm knocking out Rune Mysteries, Restless Ghost, and Druidic Ritual, it's a good time to talk about just what Modified Mistelin offers us, and what the hell do I mean when I keep saying Modified Mistelin anyway? Well, it's modified because it's not quite the same as the version of Mistelin's borders that was used during Leaks 4. Their version had Xenaris, Fossil Island, and Soul Wars Isle all within Mistelin's boundaries, and gave everyone access to Fairy Rings, which would usually require the addition of Asgania and Mauritania to access. For me, the only one of those I will be having access to is the Soul Wars Isle, but I'm waiting until we unlock the wilderness before going there. The main reason being that Soul Wars can be accessed from both Edgeville and Ferox, but I don't think we're in any particular rush to get there, so I thought it made more sense to wait till we have both sides of the portal unlocked. You'll also see by the borders outlined here that I've included the area south of Falador, down the edge of Port Serim. This is mainly to get us to Greater Corund by Viosa's boat, but I figured I may as well just include the whole of Port Serim, as in my inner child's head. It's a part of the classic Draenor Lumbridge area that comes as one package. I won't be using the boats for Karamja, Intrana, or Pest Control though, those are all off limits. I've also included Goblin Village, specifically for the progress of the Dorgish and Questland, but because it's in a no man's land, we'll have to wait until we have the wilderness to actually get to it. Aside from those caveats, most of the area is fairly self-explanatory. There are a ton of new quests, items, and training methods that we access with Mistelin, and I can't wait to explore them with you. Why don't we check in with Woody and see how he's feeling about his list of things to see and do. Okay, folks. Well, we have entered Mistelin. Just wrapped up a few auto-pop-type quests, and it's time to review our task list. And as it turns out, we've actually done one of them already. Reach level 50 in any skill. We have level 54 strength. Not far behind on the hit points or the mining either, but 47. So we have smashed that one out of the park before we've even started. And Mistlin is likely to be the quickest of the zones that we move through the task list for because it really is just sort of a transportation midway point to get us to the other regions that we're more interested in. Uh, but there's a lot of useful stuff here nonetheless, so we will of course be making use of it all. The other four tasks that we've got are to finish any clue scroll. I've got three in the bank. Shout out that bad boy with his scurry pet. I've got three clue scrolls that we can have a crack at, and I think I might just do that first, seeing as the We've got them right here, waiting to go. And I bought some runes, you can see as well. I decided to do magic to get the meat I needed for druidic ritual. So, bought some runes to do that. Haven't sold the shite yet. Yeah, I've got three clues here, so I'm thinking I'm going to go on to that one very soon. We've got complete the dig site, which is very achievable. We've already got all the prereqs except for 10 herb lore, but now that we've unlocked that with Druidic Ritual, we can go and get some Ive Newts from Aggie and Port Serim, and we're in business. We'll be away with the dig site as well, so that's a very quick one. Obtain a Skull Sept is relatively easy, you just have to kill monsters in the Stronghold of Security until you get one, and I think we can take all the monsters there at this point, so I'm not worried about that. Yeah, it'll be a bit of a grind, but it won't be too difficult. Then finally, kill Ubor, Brayfighter, and Scurrius. Now this one 
could take a while, and it's kind of RNG related. The scurriest we can do at some point, no problem. Ober and Briar Fighter, we need a mossy key and a giant's key each. And it wasn't actually planned at all like that, by the way. When I realised I had to kill hill giants and moss giants to get all my prayer training in the cosmic runes, I was like, oh, this lined up really nice. Like, I bet I'll get a giant key and a mossy key, and that'll give me a leg into the, the next part that I knew in my head I'd already planned as that without making any connection. And yeah, we just didn't get any keys at all, so it didn't work out that way in the end. We will have to farm some more giants. Hopefully it's not that bad. Maybe I'll do moss giants with fire spells to level my magic a bit, because they are weak to them, and I haven't really experimented much with the new weaknesses of enemies and all that. So that's probably going to be the longest one, the Oberbrafire and Scurrius, and obtain a Skull Sept also a bit of a grind. The other two, relatively easy, and I'm going to start with these Clue Scroll ones. Before I do, though, I got two lamps. One from a genie and one from a frog token. Apparently you can trade those in for lamps now before even bothering with any of the outfit pieces, so I did. And I'm not entirely sure what I want to put these on. If you guessed that I was going to get 35 agility, by the way, you were right. Bang on the money, you have won a big prize of absolutely fuck all. I feel like Prestel might be the way to go, to be honest. We're not desperate for it, but protection prayers would be nice, and it's high enough that we're getting a decent amount from it. Might put one on prayer and one on agility just to top up to 36 there, because it is going to get very slow, so I'll appreciate all the help I get in that regard. I started Varrock, I did like 40 laps of Varrock after 120 laps of Drano. But the next course we unlock is the Wilderness one at 56, I think, so it's either 52 or 56, I can't remember. So, yeah, we're going to be on bad Varrock rates for a while, just with what we have access to. Oh, yeah, and we've got a mystery box. There could be some interesting shit in this, or there could be absolute garbage, so let's see. A bucket. Glad I saved that to open on camera. Oh, yeah, and uh, 38 marks of grace that I picked up, because I couldn't bear to leave them on the floor, even though we'll probably never use them. Well, we can't use them. We don't currently have a way to, but I, I just couldn't leave them there. Alright, what have we got on these clues? Barbarian village. I'll try and do them all. We can do that. Oh, we were just at the wizard's tower. That's annoying. I'm gonna bank that one. <laughs> I'll try and do the other two though. I can be bothered. Okay, grab my runes though. Once again, just in case. Uh, who knows, we might want our cash stack. Uh, didn't one of those want to steal a longsword? And an iron kite shield. Well, I might, may as well grab these. Just sell them off. Studded chaps we don't have, we can go buy those. Oh, that one's Drainer as well. Oh yeah, I picked up a Chronicle too, some teleport cards, already used four of them. I don't know if we can actually wear studded chaps yet. No, we need a range level of 20, so we'll have to hold off on the easy clue now as well, but we can still try the beginner. Nice to know we finally have some archery supplies as well, nothing we need to buy there at the minute though. I guess I'll just offload these at the general store. I can't be bothered to hop and shit at the minute. Like, we've got money, so who cares? I'll regret that in the future, but right now I've got so much that I want to do that I just want to get on with doing it. Oh, back to Varrock. Just start Gertrude's cat on the way. I'm sure we'll do it at some point. I don't know much what we'll need a cat for. There's cooking XP and quest points as rewards, so may as well, you know. Oh, I suppose I should grab a Dougal Leaf as well, or I? Nobody ever expects a good old Dougal Leaf. How was my impression? Pretty terrible, right? Oh, I've got to sell my helmets at the helmet shop in Varian Village. I swear to God, if this is in Alcarid, I'm going to be pissed. I hate that the beginner ones don't show up on the tracker. Nobody put them into the clue thing. Buried beneath the ground, he knows where it's found. Oh. Wondered if that was an actual hint. Basically walking all the way back to fucking Varrock. Wasted that home teleport there. Okay, at least it wasn't in Alcarid. Which side of this fence is it gonna be on though? I should check while I'm by the gate. Oh, I may as well kill this for a horn, it'll be useful when I get to it in her blow. It's there! No way it's there! No way! I hate, 
I hit my life. Well, we cannot get that. It is outside of my region. I guess I'll run over to Drainer and try this medium clue, the least likely of the three that I had. Perhaps complete a clue scroll not going to be quite as simple as I thought when I had those three clues in the bank. To be fair, the easy one, we just need to get like seven range levels, which isn't that difficult now that we have access to actual range gear. So that's fine. This medium one, who knows where it goes. While I'm at the wizard's tower, I'm also going to pick up imp catcher and just kill imps whenever I see them because I can't be asked to go hunt them down, but we happen to get the beads along the way of our journey then. I may as well get some extra magic XP because right now I'm feeling like I need magic levels more than anything else. I want to get my teleports online ASAP so I can get to and from Lumbridge and Varrock. Where the fuck did he go? He has bamboo. He bamboozled me there. He thought he got away with it too. Work for that meddling imp. Thanks, I'll take those shears. Not sure if I've bought any yet. Oh, look at that, an air rune in a nice convenient spot. To be fair, it would have been the same as just picking it up in Valmore. Oh, I swear if you give me wizard's rubs, I'll be chuffed, mate. Absolutely chuffed. There's 15 magic. Did get 14 earlier during the uh, auto pop quests. I'm gonna just kill a couple more in case I uh, get wizard rubs, because that won't be bad to have. Yes! Got the top! Nice. Oh, it's actually the same as a black rope top. Okay, we want the bottoms. Never mind. Oh, another top. They do drop bottoms, right? Oh no, they don't. Oh, it's just a blue skirt. Doesn't actually have any magic bonus. People just wear it. I don't think we can do that. There's no way for us to get snake skin, and I don't know where you get a green hat from. It might be tree gnome stronghold, but I'm, I'm fairly certain there's no way for us to get snake skin. Yeah, it's tree gnome stronghold, so yeah, two, two reasons we can't do that medium in the end. Bit unfortunate, but... I'm going to make my way over to Aggie and Draenor and pick up some Eye of Newt packs. And I think just do a tiny bit of herb law at the bank. I think I said Aggie and Draenor. I meant Betty and Sarim. Oh, I was hoping she sold vile packs as well, but she doesn't. I'll have to look that up, see if there's anywhere that sells them. Oh, damn, we don't have anywhere at the moment that we can get water-filled vile packs from. Or even empty ones. Okay, we legit have no way to get empty vials of any kind. I could get a few crafting levels. Level 33 we'd need. That's a lot of glass. Yeah, I've got an idea. I don't know if it'll work, but I'm going to test it. Okay, well, my idea didn't work. It was to buy fishing explosives and empty them, but they were 60 coins each and they didn't have an empty option. So I could do it with plant cure, but that doesn't feel great. I feel like I, I should get the crafting levels, but that means doing crafting. <laughs> Like, it's a lot. Oh, we don't have that much. We don't have much gold. It takes a long time to get it. A bit of quickest way for all Blake, except for maybe, I don't know, we could do leather and cow hides. But we don't have a gem store that we can buy from on Celta, so we can't do that method. Because we don't have our courage. Right, I'm going to make a necklace. A sapphire necklace. Because I'll want a game's necklace eventually. Soon enough at some point. May as well. Okay, I think I'm just going to go get a little bit of food down by the river and then send the stronghold of security. Maybe try and pick up some of the skull scepter pieces while I'm down there. And there's 16 magic as we kill our first minotaur. Or a bronze full helm. I have decided to order dominoes in other news, so when that turns up, I'll be stopping my recording until later on. I hate it when I can't remember if that's my old number or my new number. Well, we're certainly making progress on our magic levels. Oh, there is the right skull half. Done with Minotaurs. Can move on through the rest of this floor. And there's our first 2k. 19 magic from an auto attack there. I feel like these are safe spotable, right? As long as one of the other... No, no, he's going to aggro me. There's always going to be one that aggroes you, isn't there? Well, maybe this corner's good. If this guy doesn't wander up. Can he not get me either? 
think I found the girted tile. No, I've been tacked. I think that was a different one that spawned. Kind of got more trapped right now with the way that they stood. Can break every time I kill one, but I want to pick up these drops. I just don't want to move until I have to. Definitely picking that one. Oh, we just unlocked low level alchemy. I don't have a great deal of nature runes or I'd get on that, but this corner is safe. They just can't get in here. Oh, a quiz master. We could get another bucket. What do we get granted? A cabbage. Hey, oops, this guy's going to a weird spot. I don't like that. Yeah, get out of there. It's my corner. Definitely was a good idea to use some casts here to level up my magic. Getting closer and closer to those teleports. And this is a grind we had to do for the challenges for the task list. So. Two birds, one stone. I swear the drop rate on these isn't that bad, but this is taking ages. Okay, well, my food's almost here. And there's no way I'm going to get through two more floors on this invent anyway. Because I've already got full invent of herbs pretty much instead of food. So I'm just going to go finish off this floor so that we can use the teleport to get back here. And yeah. And then going to log out for a bit while I eat. I might do some, like, crafting or something, who knows. But, yeah, nothing interesting will happen before I turn the camera back on again. Oh, I need to search it. Excellent. 5k. Alright, see y'all in a bit. Figured I may as well get the crafting done while I was off camera, with it being a relatively dull circuit. Just on my last run of the molten glass here, and then I need to actually blow it all into oil lamps which should probably take about 10 minutes so yeah now i just need to make these until i hit 33 and then i can make some vials and get her blast started and there is the 33 crafting we can now make ourselves our vials we will have a better source of vials eventually but like everything else it's in cam to run i'm actually going to make these while walking to the water pump and then I'm going to realise that I can't get to the wall pump from here. Yes, I can. <laughs> Just going to run through this cunt's gaff. We could actually make ourselves a defence amulet at this point, I think. I don't know that we have the magic level yet, but I imagine we probably do. We've got Varrock teleport. Speaking of Varrock teleport, I'm going to use that one right now. Fill up these last ones at the fountain. And then I am going to grab myself a bow. We can't use, we've already got an oak bow. Okay, we'll get the leather body. We will go to the bank over here. I'm going to be heading back to, oh, actually, before we go to the bank, we need more runes. Running low. Let me just spend a bunch of cash on runes. Yeah, I'm going to head back to the stronghold and do some more. I'm just going to take some sort of ranged weapon so that I can get up to 20 for those studded chaps. And then we can do that clue step that we were able to keep. I was about to teleport to Varog, but I don't really want to waste my law runes. Don't have that many of them to spare. And then I wouldn't mind just doing a bit of herb law. Just get it off the ground. I need to sort my bank out properly at some point as well, but I'll do that off camera. And there we have our very first potions on the account coming through. All those thieves and bandits we killed coming in clutch here for the the free herb law XP. Just stacked up. So glad that we kept every single herb drop. There's the level 10 herb law that we would need to complete the dig site. So that is now open to us whenever we feel like it. And there's the 11 herb law we need for taramins. As we use up the last of our guam. Do the marantils next. I only have one unicorn horn, so I can't do much with these. There's a level off cleaning them, though. Don't almost have my vials, so I can only do... I don't even have a pestle more, so I'm not going to do that at the minute. I'll do the uh, Terramin strength potions. There is 15 herb law. Ooh, just shy of 16 there, but that is as far as we can go with the herbs that we have. So, I am going to take these up to the Grand Exchange and get them changed into four doses at Brookson. Not at the actual, not using the Grand Exchange. 
if you're unfamiliar, I'll show you what the hell I'm talking about. Just got like a moment's panic running through here. Thanks, dead man. Oh, it's not Brookson, it's Bar Bob. Yeah, so this guy has an option to decant and you can just, boom, four. There's my vials back. And we've got all our full dose potions, except the one he couldn't fit. Just want to make sure we could actually fire these arrows. Ooh, no avers. Be careful with my steel arrows. Okay, I didn't want to get a full invent because we'll end up dropping them for space anyway. Let's get on back to the skull scepter hunt. I believe I'll get to a chasm crawl room much quicker if I just teleport to the end here. Wait, is this a different room that I'm going to? Well, as the zombies do annoy me, probably I'm gonna uh, oh, straight away try this one. The rats might not be aggressive. Post EP, sure. Hold still, goddammit. Four uncut diamonds! That is not a bad drop. I'm alright with that. We will make use of them, I'm sure. Okay, it might help if I put my range body on. There's 14. Man, going to a max hit of 3 after hitting 10s and 11s is not it. Do just want to get up to 20 though for that clue step. That is the only reason I'm using it here. I don't know how relevant ranged is going to be for us a lot of the time. Like early on, because like most accounts you want a high range level fairly early because you get a fire cape, but we, we don't have Karamja, so... That's like not a factor I ever have to think about. So I don't know how much range combat we're gonna do. Cause I don't know where else we really use it a lot. Should've just brought the knives to be honest. I hope we get this soon. It feels like it's taken ages. We killed loads of these flesh crawler things. It's a one in 33 drop. Just looked it up. 17 ranged. I don't actually think we're gonna get this 20 range off these arrows. <laughs> I've once had some really rotten RNG on this series so far. Dry on air runes, dry on cosmic runes, dry on skull scepter pieces, dry on giant's keys. I think that steel pickaxe from the bandit is, is the only thing we really got a decent rate on. Well, we got to 19. We've only got one arrow left. <laughs> Don't see myself getting to 20. It's time to just swap to mage. Be way quicker anyway. Oh, finally! Oh my gosh, I was about to give up, honestly. Like, not give up, but take a break. Because I was just... Wait, why am I carrying on? Well, why am, where am I going? Where am I going? That's the wrong way. I probably should just bank, to be honest. With all these herbs. I don't know, I'm kind of just hoping that the next floor goes much quicker. But if we have to bank in two minutes, we have to bank in two minutes. I think I'm actually going to take a break anyway, head to the corner shop before it closes for the night. And then come back and record some more. Until I'm too tired. Third floor. <laughs> There's 16 herb lore, why the hell not? Right, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright folks, fingers crossed we get this one on the first drop. The magic does not seem to be doing well against them. Um, I hope we do get it on the first kill. This is slow. Oh, this is the highest level. There are lower level ones. Okay, I want to go to a different chamber, that's all. If we've done enough damage to this is the question. For it to be worth staying. Solve. Who needs plate mail to splash? All you do is sit in front of a cattle pond. Splash all day. Need a herb, do you, mate? I've got herbs. What you got for me? An attack potion. Okay. So they drain strength levels as well, so you don't want to melee them. So you want to even mage or range, but they seem to have quite a high mage level. I'm going to try the other ones, see if it's just because they were a much higher level. If I'm splashing on this as well, then I will leave and get some more arrows to try range. Okay, so the problem with the low level ones is they're in a room with these spiders who are aggressive. And follow me around. I have to wait out the regression. That feels bad. Yeah, honestly, this is feeling rough. Maybe we're too low level as well. Like, we could just do this at a totally different point. There's no reason for me to f finish the scepter now. Like, it's definitely something we could come back to. But I kind of want to at least finish the stronghold either way, so I've claimed my money and my fancy boots. But yeah, I guess we'll come back and do the last two floors 
worth of the scepter at another time. There's no rush to do it right away. Oh, it healed me. That's cool. I didn't know it did that. I could try the Ankus in case they're better, but I would usually melee an Anku. Don't know how mage is against them either. Yeah, quite a high level. I'll try one, but if it's taking too long, I'll just off it. Well, as long as none of the ghosts wonder are too close. And there we go. <laughs> Literally, I was all saying it. <laughs> oh. Okay. Yeah, I get it. It didn't look like we were splashing too much, though. Let me try again. It might hit me too hard, but... Nah, these guys have 70 HP. I feel like he's going to kill me before I kill him. I don't have any food left. Right, well, I'll cross that one off. Don't need that guide up anymore. Okay. Well, that's that for now. We've got our pride boots. I think I want to whack out the museum next for the hunter and slayer. It's not particularly urgent, but it's a nice, easy, little chill thing. Uh, and I think it's the sort of thing you want to be doing when you first unlock a region. Just get those little jobs and bonuses out of the way. Actually, screw that. I'm going to sit here for like half an hour and organise my bank. I'll come back when I'm doing something interesting. Look at how nice and neat it all is now, y'all. It's so beautiful. Oh, so neat. And what I mean by that is I've got it all in tag tabs instead now, so it won't move around and shit. I can just click on the tab I want. And I can actually move stuff around in here as much as I want to organise it later, but... For now, it's all in there. That's good enough for me. It'll stay in there even when I withdraw stuff as well. That's why I like it. It's these placeholders. So, grab these knives. I'm going to throw them at something on my way to the museum. Maybe Romeo. Oh, I don't have the money to talk to those kids right now, do I? Okay, there's literally nothing on the way to the museum, apparently. Where the fuck are all the guards at? You take the day off? Where the hell are all the guards? Is this even going to get me a range level? Suck it, guard. How to fit in with the locals by Woody Wild. There we go, 20 range. Just as our prayer runs out. No need to go any further than that. Just wanted that level so we could equip those to the chaps. We will check out that clue after we've done the museum. I'm just recharging my prayer. Was the leather body always this pale? Or have they changed it? Because I feel like it looked different before. Like, more that colour. I don't know, I've never really worn one for that long to know, right? It's something you outclass very quickly. Time for the hardest mini quest in all of RuneScape. <laughs> and that is the hardest quest ever, all done. Nine, Slayer and Hunter. Lovely little start to each of those skills. Let's have a look at this clue and remind ourselves. Drainer. Whereabouts in Drainer? Right in the middle. I guess we'll home telly. And get back to Varrock easily enough with Varrock teleports and Chronicle. It's getting down to the south areas that's more difficult at this point. Okay, fingers crossed this gives us one we can actually do. Ardy Zoo. Ah, that died quickly. Oh, I totally forgot to start him catcher, didn't I? To be honest, I think we just need more magic levels. That's really what we're lacking more than anything, which will mean money for runes probably, but also something to hit. So I think I will probably go to hill giants. As lame as that is with the amount of hill giants I killed yesterday, it's the easiest thing for me to kill at the minute. Maybe I'll do moss giants because we can do them with fire strike and test out how the weakness is. That sounds okay. And it's slightly less dull. Could do some food though. Could do some food. We should make an amulet of magic. We have everything now. Other than a ball of wool. However, good timing to remember that we need a ball of wool. Pretty sure my man Ned sells them. He doesn't. We talk to him. Fuck you, Ned. Right, well I guess we're just doing sheep shearer, are we? Oh, it's 20. I don't have the invent space. That's the wrong fishing rod anyway. Fuck it. And then we drop one shear, drop the shears, because we need one for our ball of wool. Cheers, Fred. Figured I may as well just run from here. That'll have to do. I'll probably be safe spotting him anyway. 
And there we have it, our Amulet of Magic, our very first neck slot with stats on it, our very first jewellery with stats on it, actually. Could make a jeweling ring, but we can't use any of the teleports at the minute. Uh, an emerald necklace, I have no idea what that even does. That's castle walls, that is a defence, that's forging. Yeah, there's nothing really useful until 50. Crafting's not that bad at a low level, though. It's pretty quick early on with glass blowing. But yeah, we've now got our amulet of magical sword. So it is time to head to our target. I need some sort of slash weapon to get through the webs though. I'm just going to take my Lawrence as well so I can tally into the city. And the hope is that this fire spell is going to do absolute bits. It usually max hits an 8 I think. But against something with a weakness to it, it should have a higher... A Plus 50%, so it should be a 12, right? Yeah, so we just max it at 8 on the zombie. What a nice little test there. Thanks for letting me hit that 8, bro. So we'll see what the max hit is against Moss Giants, because I'm pretty sure it's plus 50% weakness to any fire spell, so... Like I said, I haven't really tested the new elemental changes. I don't often use the standard spell book, so... This will be one account where I do though, so it's important to know about. Because the only other spell but we have is Arceus, which isn't really great, except for Thralls or if you're fighting demons specifically, which I can't imagine we'll be doing a lot of. I don't think there's that many demons we have access to outside Skatizo and the ones in Corrent Cave. Why are you aggro me, bro? Right, folks, I'm going to sit here for a bit and hopefully get a mossy key. And I will be collecting all the bones to eventually take to the uh, libation ball. That is our best training method. Okay, that was a 10. It wasn't a max. We can actually almost cast Fireball. I just didn't really have the money to invest in a bunch of Chaos Runes. But we have some, so we could use them. Mm, there is 30. And a Marantil Seed. Not terrible. Oh, those are the 12. Nice. In 12s with one mind rune and two air runes isn't bad. I wonder if we can hit a 13 with the plus 1%. Surely not, but I don't know how the rounding works. And that level right there unlocks the teleport to Lumbridge. We now have a way to get back there even when our home teleport is on cooldown. Very nice indeed. Some extra law runes will help out in that regard. Ooh, a Renar Seed. That is not a bad drop. Probably one of the most crucial drops for an early game at Iron Man from the seed table. And there's 32 magic for good measure. Gonna have to bank in a second. Got a full inventory here of loot. Mostly bones. A few seeds and runes though. I think I'm actually gonna call it a night. I'm pretty tired. I edited a lot today. I can't really figure out what I feel like doing. I don't know. I keep doing things and then being like, mm, I'm not sure if I'm feeling this. So yeah. I think I'm just gonna call it a day and come back tomorrow with a fresh mind and see what feels like the thing to be doing. Just gonna make sure I get this stuff in correct tab. So we'll wanna put all this in the farming tab. Bang in. Guess I'll see you tomorrow when I figured out what I'm gonna do. Well folks, it is a very rare occasion indeed that I am in the mood to do some quests, but today may just be one of those occasions. Woke up with a bit of a headache and I kind of just want to mong out and not use my brain. I also just wrote this list of every quest that we will be able to complete as a part of this series and this is it this is the full list so looking at that i'm pretty happy with how few quests we are gonna have to do in general i'm gonna kick things off with the dig site seeing as though that's the one on our task list i probably won't be speaking all that much i'm gonna bang some music on it and just chill and mong out for a bit but I'll, I'll leave the camera on so i can show anything that's that's relevant and yeah I guess I'll see you guys when I do some quests. 53 digs that took. That was ridiculous. I had to pan for ages as well to find a jade. Fuck me, man. And there is the dig site for a bit of mining XP extra and also 2k herblore XP brings us up to 5k from 3. Very nice indeed. Gets us all the way to level 20.
And we went up to 49 mine and I'm not actually sure what level we were before. Now we've got a very niche thing coming up here. There is exactly one fruit blast in the game that I can acquire. Never going to the tree gnome stronghold. Something to drink, please. Thank you. He takes his certificates and you get a fruit blast. A one time deal. The only one you can get and you can miss it. And you can take the chocolate cake instead if you pick the wrong option or you don't go through the dialogue. And that is the only way that I can start recipe for disaster. So thank fuck I didn't fuck anything up there. I've set it to use so I don't accidentally drink it or anything. And now we can actually start RFD with that. Now the thing is, we can't actually do any of RFD apart from the very first part. But that's okay. I just want to unlock the chest. And it does unlock the chest. So that's the main thing. So yeah, gonna go knock out Cook's assistant and then start RFD. Scratch what I just said. That is the only way for us to get a fruit blast, but there isn't a way for us to get a Greenman's Ale. We can't start RFD. Just for anyone who hasn't seen it yet, this is the new frog token thing. You use it on them, and shit offers lamps now as well. Bang. Slap that on her blow. There's Demon Slayer for some quest points and silver light. Gertrude's cat there for... Some cooking XP and a kitten will probably never have a use for. Most of the kitten stuff is desert, so... Oh, I did do Cook's assistant as well. I totally forgot to shout that one out. And there's Daddy's home for a kickstart to our construction journey. Up to level 8 plus a crate of supplies, which gives you lots of very nice things for getting started. I think I'm all quested out for the minute. I'm gonna get some more runes and go back to the moss giants, just chill there for a while. The thing about this is, having to run back all the way through Varrock sewers at a time fucking sucks. If we could just bank at Edgeville, it'd be so much easier, but we need 51 agility for this shortcut, which is still 11 levels away, and the best way we have to do it is Varrock Laps. So, yeah. It's a bit of a sticky one. I'm not sure I can do the moss giants right now. Just because of the bank time, it takes so long. But I'm not going to like leave all these bones. We need them. Whereas the hill giants would be able to get to a bit quicker at the moment. So I'm thinking I might just head over there. Sorry for that notification. Apparently I have a kitten tracker, even though my kitten's banked. But you love it when plugins break. Problem is, though, I don't think hill giants have an elemental weakness, so we won't get that benefit that we were getting at Moss. You know, I actually think I'm just going to do some skilling for a bit. I'll do it off camera because it won't be interesting, but I might do a bit more agility. I want to get some food stocked up because I feel like I'm always just trying to get food on my way to somewhere rather than getting it out of the bank which would be easier so i think i'm gonna like go do some fishing for a while then maybe run some laps i don't know but i'll uh turn the camera back on whenever i'm doing something interesting i guess hey everyone i think it's been about three four hours since i actually recorded did end up doing pretty much what i said started with the fishing and banked some salmon and whatever the other one is i don't know i can't remember the two that you get by Barb Village. Up to 41 fishing, 40 cooking respectively. I then did a bit of crafting because I noticed the cash stack was looking a bit low. So I basically like turned all my gems into jewellery. I went and mined some gold on Valamore because I have no other access to gold. And turned it into jewelry yeah sold it to the general store so i didn't make too much but we're back to about 20 25k or something oh no we're down to 15k because i just bought a bunch more arrows and yeah that's the other thing i trained up my range a little bit more we got an extra 10 levels i decided to as soon as the hill giants don't have an elemental weakness i thought i'll take range to them and then train up my range a bit because i had been neglecting it quite a lot so yeah i went there still no keys unfortunately 570 combined giant kills without a single giant key or mossy key is a bit unfortunate but i did end up getting this medium clue which sorry this beginner clue 
which the first step at least is completable. So yeah, I thought I would turn the camera back on and see if we can get this clue done. Oh, and I ran some more laps. On 42 delay now. I think that is everything that I did during the downtime. I know I've been banking all the bones as well. Currently, we've got enough banks to get us up to 39 prayer, which would get us protect from magic, not missiles or melee though. I think I'm just going to wait until this banked XP tracker. This is just a plugin, by the way, if you haven't seen it before. Banked experience, it's called. And you can do a number of different skills, but you can put in however you're planning to process it. Going with regular wine because we don't have any sunfire shards yet. And yeah. So I'm just waiting for this number to say 43 and then I'm going to take them and just go get all my protection prayers at the same time. Which probably won't be long with the giant farming that we're doing to try and find these keys. They are the most optimal thing for me to be killing at the moment. I think I want a higher range level before I try to kill the cattle pond things. Oh my gosh. Earlier when I was doing quests and I was randomly collecting bones for Demon Slayer to give to Wizard Triborn. I, w I was in Lumbridge and I thought, I'll just kill these goblins because who knows, maybe one of them will drop a chef's hat. I might need that to get into the cooking guild. Or apparently for a beginner clue step. And, and a red cape. What are the chances that the two items? That is insane. But we are pogging it off right now. Is this... Can beginners be more than two steps? This might be another task crossed off the list. It can be three steps. Come on. Oh, we got another step. No. We can't do that! Oh, that is out of bounds! Oh! 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 <laughs> okay, change of plans. Obviously. I'm gonna de gear so I'm light. Keep the amulet of defense. Oh yeah, I made an amulet of defense and a couple of dueling rings as well. I can't actually use the dueling rings yet to go anywhere. Right, I want invent space and just a bit of shitty food. And uh, I guess I'm um telling. I'm kind of, I want to get this clue scroll one done. I don't know why, I just, well, if you've watched one hour limit lock to my previous series, or if you watched my league series, basically if you've ever seen any series of mine, You'll know that I'm hopelessly addicted to clue scrolls. <laughs> so I just feel like I need to get it done to get one done, you know, in my regions. So I'm gonna go pickpocket some hand members and see if we can get some clues and just keep going. And then if we manage to get a clue done, I'll probably wrap up this video because I feel like I've got a decent amount of footage at this point. We've done a, a fair bit since we entered Mistelin. The RNG. And uh, never mind, it's RD Castle. No RNG. And we will equip the ham rubs as we get them. Each one gives a marginal chance to avoid being caught when pickpocketing. I'm actually going to look up how much it is because it's slightly less likely. It doesn't say. It doesn't stop you being caught. It makes you slightly less likely to be ejected after being caught. Like, you get put in the jail rather than... Or maybe you don't get put anywhere. They just hit you and stun you. But it skips. Knocking, yeah. Okay. Oh, we got another one. Lumberyard, a hard leather body, leather chaps, and a bronze axe. I'm going to have to look those up because we don't have a tanner still. I don't know if there's places to get them. No, we can't get a hard leather body. Or leather chaps, I don't think. Because we can't get leather... Unless something drops hard leather. Maybe implings. We're not high enough level for them. And we don't have a trading method yet for Hunter. Nope, that's a drop, I'm afraid. It's going to be tough to get a completable clue. I believe in us, though. Nice to get the thieving levels up as well, because we don't really have a good money maker still. I've been struggling to think of a good way to make money. So extra thieving levels definitely give us more options in that regard to just pickpocket random NPCs. Oh, we are such a machine. We can kill a guy in robes with just a pickaxe. Who cares if I accidentally punch someone? Oh, come on then, dickhead. Oh, 
He gave us a clue. We can do that. May as well even start Vampire Slow while there. I've been meaning to get the first step on it so I can go talk to the guy in Blue Moon in whenever I'm in Varrock. I've been doing basically all my questing in this sort of region. Rather than like doing one quest at a time, I'm just doing steps of quests whenever I'm in an area where I've got the next step. Okay, so yeah, we got the next step for it, so... My clue scroll, what we got? Oh, Tavoli? We can't do that. It's another one down. This is gonna take a while, folks. I mean, a beginner would be the easiest to go for, right? But I don't even know what drops beginner clue scrolls. I guess a goblin would be the easiest thing to get it off, because you can kill them very quickly. Hey, oops, yeah. I'll have some of that. Where, where's the prince then? There. Loving these frog tokens now. There's one. Falador. Can't do that. Did just get another one like immediately after though, unless I didn't manage to drop it. Uh, I can't do Berthop. And there are a lot of easy steps we can't do, huh? I'm starting to think I might just bonk some goblins. I believe we've only got one piece of the ham set so far and it's been a rub twice. I suppose I should take that in case I ever do do Death to the Dogshin. A regular leather body, that's so troll. Where's the hard leather body? Eagle top. 28th even. Okay, yeah, I just keep getting sent out and it's quite frustrating, so... I think I'm just gonna bank over here, get my range gear back and just spam the goblins. I should really do mage. Mage is more important. The reason I think beginner clues are just a safer bet here is because from what I know they're all in free to play areas. So it's more likely to not be in a region that we can't go to. I think this is like a 1 in 64 drop rate so I'm just gonna slowly whip. make my way over to where there's a mass of them. Just had a genius thought actually. I mean it could still not work out the same as any clue scroll but claiming these whenever I walk past. X marks the spot. If you do X marks the spot, I'm pretty sure the reward is a guaranteed beginner clue. And we need to do it anyway, eventually. I was going to wait until we were going into Corrund just because it leads into that, but, you know, there's no reason we can't do it early. I don't have a spade though. I'm going to have to go to the bank. Get a lamp for this as well. Going to stick that on her block. Every little helps. Trying to get to energy potions as quickly as I can, I can't lie. Bada bing bada boom. 22 herb law. And we got our beginner clue. Can we do it? Yeah. Anywhere between one and three steps. New clue. Can't do that. Fuck! That's 35 magic. Firebolt now. Okay, we can kind of just like machine gun turret them down here, so... I reckon it'll be relatively quick to farm them. We are one hitting a lot of the time. Not all the time, but a lot of the time. Oh! Oh, they dropped an easy clue. Maybe they dropped both, because I'm fairly certain I was looking at beginner. But obviously we'll check if we can do it. But we can do that. Do I try and get a beginner as well, just in case this falls through before leaving the spot, because I'm in a good position right now? Five minutes later. Okay, well I've been here quite a while killing goblins, and there's no sign of a beginner clue scroll since I got that easy, so... I'm just gonna head on up to the easy and chase it down as far as it goes. Because it's pretty close anyway. Figured I may as well stay there while I was damn near out of run anyway. Okay. <sighs> Can't do Cathaby. Would have been too much to hope for, wouldn't it? Hey, we got a beginner one. Okay, we can talk to Charlie. I think I'm just gonna run up there. I don't wanna waste my law runes. I've been using them a bit too frivolously. They are a finite supply, we don't have access to them until the same as everything else. Cam to rum. The absolute gold mine for our account. Apparently, I did not realise how much stuff was in bloody Cam to rum until the start of this series. But it legitimately has everything. Or at least everything that the rest of Valamore's lacking. <laughs> Hopefully Charlie asks me for something that we can do. A cooked pike. How do I get a pike? Rod and bait. Same place as you get the other fish. Oh, we don't have any bait. Ooh, we got the red bead. Randomly kill every imp that I walk past. I don't randomly kill every imp that I walk past. I kill every imp that I randomly walk past. Sometimes sentencing be difficult. I forgot money. Whoever this guy is, 
Mills, I'm sorry, but Woody's kind of wild. Woody's really wild. Wait, is that Nilly guy? What the hell? What is this duo? They got a bit boss. Man's in the salad rubs, I'm jealous. Oh, we'll get mine soon enough. We just have to get to Zaya. Just seeing beginner clues everywhere that I've dropped as they've petered out. <gasps> Alright, now the long walk back up there. While we're passing through, may as well start passing of interest. Oh, do we have to like read the sign in Drainer first? Never mind. I'm gonna get a few just in case we have to end up doing this more than once. Should be an imp somewhere around here. Path around outside the city so I could try and spot it on the way, but I'm gonna walk about. Come on, Charlie lad. Show me something nice. Yeah, that's fine. Good. Yeah, we can do that. I'm sure I probably have both of those things in the bank, but I think it's quicker to just pick up the boots and buy the axe. Praying for the casket here. What? Oh my gosh, I dropped the boots rather than equipping them. I had them set to left click drop because I kept getting them when I was fucking big net fishing. Yeah, I just left click dropped them, went and picked them up and then dropped them on the way. Here it goes. Yes! We've done it! We have completed our very first clue in Mistlin entirely. It was a beginner clue, but honestly, that was hard enough. I'm glad I didn't put it as, like, easy or higher, because I very much almost did, I remember. But, yeah, I'm glad I left it like that, because actually a beginner was just tough enough to kept giving me fucking Falador and Alcarid and all sorts. <laughs> Cathavir, I so that might be easy, I don't know. But, yeah, that was a length. That was a mission. Let's see what's inside. Probably nothing too exciting, but... That is accurate. Nothing too exciting. Six cooked sardines. If that's not exactly how you expect a beginner clue casket to go, then I don't know what to tell you. That's how I feel about the casket. Anyway, I think that is going to wrap up this one, episode 5, I think. Yeah, it's going well still. We are progressing. We've now done... We've now done three of the tasks in this region, and we've got half of our Skull Scepter. So really, the biggest choke point here is those giant keys. I just need to get to work on them. Just keep doing it, so I'll probably do a lot of it off cam because it's not that interesting, like just sitting and killing hill giants or moss giants. So I may end up like just doing that off cam and, uh, you know, when I get the keys, <laughs> showing them, obviously, and, and going to do the, the bosses on cam. But yeah, that's going to be a big part of the grind. The Skull Scepter we will go back to after we've got some higher levels. I'm going to keep doing Midge at the Moss Giants and Ranged at the Hill Giants and work like that so that I can get both of those levels up to match closer to where my melee stats are. And yeah, that is going to be it on this one. If you enjoyed this episode of the Wild West, please do make sure to hit that like button. It helps out a ton, just promotes me into the world so more people can find the content that you are enjoying and we can grow this channel even further and subscribe too if you haven't already so you don't miss any of the future content I have a huge back catalog by now and i'm only adding to it more as we go so stick around to see all of that by hitting the subscribe button look after yourselves be lovely to each other and i'll see you on the next one